Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review and yes it is yet another throwback review this is from Crossover Gen I think it was back in 2010 this was made uh, I'm reviewing this because TFC have been on an extremely good roll as of late and they are giving us uh, their interpretation of the crossover Optimus Prime where he was a military personnel vehicle for G.I. Joe or Action Force if you were in the UK and the first take on this was done by Crossover Gen as part of their Mecha Warfare and their Earth Federation Tactical Force Supreme Tactical Commander Grand Patriot uh, now some of you have said well if this exists why do TFC need to do one <laughs> I will show you. First of all, nice box art. Very solid box. And we have on the side, we have Prime, obviously Prime, and his trailer. And there we have Prime. You can flip down and see his matrix. He has guns on his knees and he has a tactical base mode as well. Opening up the box, we have a set of instructions. Again, nicely done. And a nice big foam insert some of the first guys to use foam with their third party figures and we have two rifles the trailer and the cab right here he is out of the packet so we get a head uh, different the sculpt on that and we get the uh, kind of matrix there we get the guns uh, these are got a horrible kind of waxy uh, layer over the top and it's very rough around here. I think maybe we've just been spoilt with some really nice pieces from third parties uh, in modern days now but yeah there's the gun we get two of these. The instructions are um, not too bad. Uh, it's basically a big comic book so you know if he looked like that if he was as dynamic as the original concept uh, I don't think he would have done that badly but unfortunately as we'll find out he isn't and again this is the photographed color very optimus prime uh, that's not the same color not even in the slightest uh, but as you can see here he transforms up fairly straightforward steps and here we have him with the cannons all on his trailer and yeah we have various different options that were shown on the back of the box and then the comic continues artwork in the comic is really nice uh, genuinely very impressed a uh, nice incorporation of kind of the GI Joes in there but let's take a look at the product himself um, this feels again very waxy uh, it doesn't really want to hold together at all and if you look at these wheels they are actually being held on by a very thin piece of plastic uh, these uh, this whole section here this white piece it's very brittle uh, feels like something that was created on shapeways uh, but not to a very uh, acceptable standard in my opinion got some sprue marks on the bottom there and you can see Prime's head poking through and again another sprue mark and the color isn't bad it's just a couple of different shades throughout and it just doesn't scream kind of mp10 optimus prime in coloring to me as you can see these wheels are meant to tab in behind this <sighs> chassis piece as well and nothing really holds into place oh, there we go that'll do for now we have these cannons on top which can rotate left and right and uh, the legs are meant to really compress us as far as I can get those in there I would like to have had those compressed all the way up to the thighs he doesn't really roll it's very offset the balance it does strike a bearing resemblance to his counterpart uh, here's some stills of what he should look like it's not terribly bad uh, for what I've seen from TFC though they are doing an amazing job with what they've got coming the tactical trailer again feels a little bit hollow uh, and it's got that kind of waxy texture to it again but this may just be that they've been made from a cheaper plastic and it just hasn't aged 
very well at all. Uh, the chrome has started to cloud over slightly. This does open up as well. And the idea is for this to pop through this hole inside and that attaches the trailer onto Prime. This uh, all folds out and it is meant to be used with our three and three quarter inch figures. These guns would actually fit on the side of the trailer if we had it in trailer mode, uh, but uh, you kind of have to decide whether you want rockets on your trailer or the guns when you have it set up for your three and three quarter inch figures. We can flip up these display screens so they can see what they're doing. Again, that's not a bad little feature, I don't think. And I do like having these huge rockets, but this is just such a brittle plastic. I don't have many three and three quarter inch figures, but uh, <laughs> there we go. I personally feel that they're maybe too small. I think this is probably uh, far too small to incorporate the three and three quarter inch. It's more, in my opinion, the B25, that sort of acid rain series, that sort of size may work better, in my opinion, to get Prime transformed up. We want to extend the legs until they lock out, like so. Oh, trying not to break it. Uh, the knee pads are kind of meant to fold up to cover the knees. The feet can come down and down. We do have these cannons on the legs, which can move up just oh, that's a very tight cannon on those knees but they can in theory move up uh, this unfortunately is what we're gonna have to deal with uh, it's not the most complexing of transformations as you can see this is where this was meant to tab into the sides I kept having trouble with it poking outwards um, the arms come out and round we can bring the fists out now if we look on the inside here this joint here is designed to roll uh, although it is incredibly difficult to do and you are living in fear of snapping this figure in half but we're going to push this forwards here it goes there ah there we go that's now, <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Um, I was literally terrified. I thought that was gonna snap into a thousand pieces. We're gonna slide these up like so, and then come upwards. The whole waist section needs to rotate around. This then comes up and over, comes down to the back for the head reveal, I think that's it. And here we have him in all his um, glory, <laughs> I guess. For the time, I guess this was unique and something new, uh, but I mean, this is the first time I've owned this uh, since it's existed. And I don't know, maybe it's, I've got snobby over time, expecting more from third party companies, but I really, really don't like how it looks or feels. I really hope that I don't feel like that about the TFC version. I'm sure I won't. I'm sure it's gonna really impress me. I mean, Rolling Thunder was a fantastic vehicle uh, albeit it was kind of a more the green colour and I remember having my Action Force and G.I. Joe figures all placed up inside it and it had all sorts of heavy artillery and then the idea came there with the crossover and Prime was rolling thunder and I loved that idea but if I was to have got this as the only rolling thunder toy uh, I'd have been heavily disappointed, I think. Uh, we do have a compartment at the front there for that matrix of some sorts. It definitely looks more like uh, some sort of uh, candy or sweet than it does a matrix of leadership. Uh, it's just very, very underwhelming, 
unfortunately. Let's just take a look at the articulation. So I know you're all keen to see this big bad boy's moves. The head can look left and right. We can go up and down. It is ball mounted, I think. So there is some tilt left and right as well that may just be because uh, it's broken underneath. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the shoulders can come out to the side. We can go up and down. We can't move it forwards or backwards. We have rotation on those guns. Uh, the elbows have an upper bicep rotation. We get 90 degree bend on the elbow, but they don't really want to lock out very firmly. They just keep sliding inwards and outwards. Uh, I don't know if there's a way of me tightening that up maybe. There is rotation on these wrists and they do just curl inwards. The waist can rotate at both the... <laughs> the upper torso can slide forwards and backwards whether I want it to or not there may there maybe is a better way of transforming that I haven't watched any of the reviews in years so maybe I'm doing that completely wrong but uh, let's just say the instructions don't help at all the waist does rotate we get hip skirts to the uh, side and front allowing for rotation this far forwards this far backwards out to the side <laughs> upper thigh rotation 90 degree bend on that knee and if you can get the toes to stay out uh, they can go up and down and the heel can go as well but there is no ankle pivot although you do get pivot on the knee because it doesn't really want to lock out <laughs> you also get these cannons on the legs as well which can come up like so although when you get to this sort of angle you do kind of get the impression that it's going to snap off at any moment but look at that oh dear and these weren't cheap either. Even now, they're not overly cheap for a Voyager class figure. I mean, I honestly feel you do get more plastic uh, in a modern day Hasbro release than this guy's letting on. It's by today's standards, it's very subpar. Just give you all a fairly varied scale comparison uh, he's quite a small figure I, I want to give this guy more credit because he was uh, something different that we didn't really have at the time nobody had thought to even give us anything remotely rolling thunder wise and they did they did give us a rolling thunder toy unfortunately i just think it was poorly executed the plastic and the joints it's kind of made it to production it doesn't appear to have gone through any qc tests now grand patriot was available in the alternative green color in my opinion much more accurate to the kind of action force gi joe aesthetic i actually prefer the green he does seem to hold together slightly better and he comes with the light piped head as standard uh, but both boxes are pretty much identical i can't really see the difference in them so just make sure if you do decide to go out and buy this uh personally i wait for the uh, tfc one but just make sure you're getting the right one if you want the green get the green if you want the red get the red but make sure they check inside the box so you get the correct figure so there we have it ladies and gentlemen another quick throwback review I wish this figure had aged better. It was a good idea. Unfortunately, it was just poorly executed. I'm very much looking forward to TFC kind of reviving the rolling thunder idea though. And then this does look exceptional. Now I will be getting the rolling thunder figure from TFC when it is produced. It should be the end of March, I believe. 
uh, but don't quote me on that. So uh, once again, I would like to thank Robot Kingdom for making these reviews possible. If you decide you do want to purchase one of these figures, uh, Robot Kingdom does actually still have some in stock. Surprisingly, they didn't sell out. Who would have thought? Uh, and I've included the link in the description below. Thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedules to tune in and watch my content. And until next time, from myself and the Crossover Gen Grand Patriot, ah, uh, good.